Well, the 1-5th Formula 1 European Championships come to a thrilling climax here in Slavkov in the Czech Republic. And fairly early on, we had a feeling that Martin might win it. Question was, which Martin? Yes, battle commenced this morning between TQ man Martin Bayer and 2007 large-scale touring car world champion Martin Lissau. And it was all smiles before the semi-finals. Oh, maybe he makes one mistake. <laughs> you never know. I'm not sure. <laughs> but the semi-final was to be an intense 30-minute battle with Bayer protecting his position and ultimately winning with a clever pitting strategy. Well, as the final got underway, all the drivers stepped up, mindful of the perilous track barriers, but full of a desire to be faster. Alas, pitting along with lap traffic were to be Bayer's downfall, and after 50 minutes of breathtaking driving, Martin Lissau from Denmark is the new 1-5th Formula 1 European Champion. Congratulations, Martin. Thank you. Just how you planned it? Yeah. The pit stop worked out very good and yeah, we was a little lucky with Martin getting uh, in trouble uh, before the first, uh, before the pit stop, so was lucky and keep on going and everything worked out perfect. As ever, a great sportsman, the vice champion continues to look on the bright side. Yeah, that, that's racing. Second place is, I think, not bad. <laughs> yeah, uh, we had problem with the traffic, so I lose two corners and Martin just passed me. For the top two at least, this race came down to two key moments. Some cars spun and I was very lucky to pass without touching anything. And I see Martin, he went a bit out of the grass, maybe to get some dirt on the tyre. And then from the next corner he has no acceleration, so I could put the car inside and yeah. Still in the opening half of the race, this gave way to an intense battle, similar to that of the semi-final, but with the positions reversed. Then I was competitive with him, we just go together. Approaching 26 minutes, both drivers, still bumper to bumper, will have been acutely aware of the need to refuel. The pit stop worked out very good. And we also had a lot of work back home to do the pit stop very fast with the, with the fuel gun and everything. But we had some troubles with the refueling. We lost almost 10 seconds. And on this track, 10 seconds is very difficult to get down, so... In third position, Dario Vesali struggled for a second time with tyres. Yeah, it was pretty good, but uh, in the beginning I again had a problem with tyres. But after it was pretty good, I was happy with the third place and that's it. Well, as the champagne dries off and the event comes to a close, Everyone is looking forward to the next week. Touring cars now, we're going to have another weekend of Bayer domination. <laughs> Touring cars will be more hard, there will be more competitive drivers. So I think more fight and the truck I think will be very good with the grip. Very, very short rest and then, we're, then you're back out again. Time oh, yeah. to bring out your touring car. You're going to do the double? We try, <laughs> but uh, as you see it's always very close competition. So you need also luck. So for touring car, I hope to do good, but fighting for top five position is always very close. So yes, I hope. So they're saying the touring car championships will be even more competitive. Stay tuned to efra.ws to find out.